that winter and hope, but today I'm going to tell you all about our third dolphin here. Uh, he's actually our oldest resident dolphin, so he's been here even longer than winter and hope, and his name is Nicholas. Give it to me. I love him. Give me that one. Nicholas is currently 16 years old. Uh, he was rescued though, and he was also a young dolphin calf, about six months old. Now, Nicholas was found stranded on a beach with his mother, Noel. Uh, so names like Nicholas and Noel, uh, yes, they were in fact rescued actually on Christmas Eve. Uh, so he is our very own Saint Nicholas. Nicholas's mom was really sick. Uh, she had an upper respiratory infection and that's why she beached herself. Nicholas was just a baby. He followed her right up onto that beach. Unfortunately, they were on that beach for such a long period of time, they got severely sunburned. So Nicholas and his mom had second and third degree burns. Now shortly after being here, Nicholas's mom, Noelle, she did pass away. So that means Nicholas was left an orphan. He lacked all of his survival skills, making him not a good candidate to be released. And that's actually why he's remained here. So he actually went through months of rehabilitation to heal from those injuries. Now with burns, how you treat them is through debriding. What that means is that you actually remove the dead skin from that injury site to promote healing of that skin. Now today, when you come see Nicholas, he does have scarring from those injuries. Now Nicholas here is our only male resident dolphin. He does have a really big personality. He's also kind of our class athlete. He's super athletic and energetic, and he's really fun. Now most people come here because of Winter and Hope, but they actually typically leave here being a huge fan of this handsome guy. Uh, you may actually recognize him from Dolphin Tale 2. In that movie, he actually played a dolphin named Mandy. Uh, this is a really cool part of that movie because Mandy was a real dolphin that we rescued uh, with a, a friend of hers named Troy. Now Mandy and Troy were found together, rescued, rehabilitated, and they were released. So an incredible successful story. Uh, but since Mandy didn't live here, we actually used Nicholas to play the role of Mandy. So when we're treating an animal, it's a lot easier and less stressful on the animal when they voluntarily participate. And that's actually why we train our medical management behaviors, uh, or as we call them, husbandry behaviors. So simply having them come over and we'll offer them food during these medical treatments, that's gonna make that all the more valuable. So medical management is one of the most important reasons why we train them. Thanks for being here today to learn all about Nicholas. Join us next week for our season one finale.